So now, in this case, we want to measure the current flowing through resistor 2. So uh, we're going to do is the same process, the same technique. We, we connect the negative rails, then we, we try to connect backwards. So it says here from the negative of the supply, it goes to negative of R1. From the negative of R1, it goes to negative of R2. From the negative of R2, it goes to negative of R3, right? So this is the negative rail. So in order for us to connect the positive rail, um, working backwards, it says here, from the negative from the positive of r3 from the positive of r3 it goes to positive of the meter it goes to positive of the meter now from that from the from the I'll just keep this straight that's from the positive of of r3 it goes to positive of the meter now from the positive i'm going to take it from the right hand side now from the positive of r1 from the positive of r1 it goes to positive of the meter then we won't forget to connect from the negative let me see here from the negative from the negative of the meter it goes to positive of r2 it goes to positive of R2. Then we still have we still have to deal with from the positive of the supply, it goes to positive of R1. So um, I'm just gonna switch this on quickly. Uh, switch on the power supply. And this uh, measures, this gives us 0 0.8 for IR2. This is IR2. Um, yeah.